Okay, I thought I'd make this video uh, because people were talking about how there's no instructions with this little chainsaw chain sharpener that I got off Amazon. And uh, so basically, uh, explanation of what's going on here. These little knobs here just tighten the device against the bar. So when you tighten those up, it just snugs this up. Uh, this little part right here actually goes against, if you can see right there, it goes against the, the cutting tooth. And it actually, when you're putting force on this little thing here to turn it, to sharpen it, uh, it actually keeps the tooth uh, plumb on the side. And uh, instead of like when you're pushing on it, it'll actually come off to the side kind of at an angle. So that basically right there, it just, that keeps it from moving too much. It puts pressure against it. Now, this part right here is kind of hard to turn when it's uh, kind of tight against the back of that cutting tooth. If you can see that. And actually, as you're turning the, the cutter, like spinning it around and around and around, uh, you're actually supposed to turn this gradually to keep it snug against the cutting or the, uh, the grinding part right there. So, and actually it's got a Phillips uh, indention in it where you can use a screwdriver. And I would recommend you use a screwdriver because it's awful hard to turn it with your fingers once it's uh, in as far as it is. And it may actually do you some good to like put some uh, grease down in them on the threads there. Because it might make it actually easier to turn by your finger. But anyway, so once you got it lined up and you got that little, uh, I'm going to call it a spinning part because the little handle here, you got it through and you got it snug against it and then you turn it, and I'm turning it the wrong way. I'd turn it uh, this way and it sharpens the tooth like that. And then when you're done, you take it out. If I can get it out with one hand. Well, anyway, you take it out and then you loosen this right here and it loosens it on the back of the cutting tooth. And then you move your chain, you leave the whole assembly on there, but you move your chain to the next link that's on the same side. And, or actually on this chain right here, the next link is actually opposite. So what you would do in that case, if you wanted to do that, you can move that link right there to that position right there and then take your handle out and stick it through the other hole so it's angled this way. And then it'll uh, it'll sharpen it from that side. And then the next tooth is opposite of that. If I can get it to focus. Uh, so here's the opposite. It's the same as the one that's in there right now. So you'd have to switch that handle back to that hole right there to do that link there but that's about all there is to it it's pretty straightforward if you know the basics of uh, chainsaw sharpening uh, with like a file or whatever like freehand or like a harbor freight type of a uh, grinding wheel type of sharpener or something like that you get the gist of, of uh, what it takes to sharpen the inside of that tooth <clears throat> but anyway that's the video thanks